I'm Catherine Carmel and I'm the owner here at Mitten Race. So Mitten Race to me is pretty much everything. It's my life, I'm here all the time. Um, I get to do things that I love. Fun, crazy, wild donuts. Um, but we have, even our glazed donuts cut in half and glazed twice. We have cookies, cookie sandwiches that are just filled with edible cookie dough or candy in a cookie with frosting. We can't get any more sugar than that. We offer um, you know, breakfast sandwiches and healthier option bowls. We have espresso, a little bit of everything here. Started with my brother and I in 2017 and we were trying to think of a name that you know incorporated where we're from and what we'd be doing. So Mitt and Ray's just kind of came together and we thought that's it. It ended up being perfect name. Has the pandemic put Mitt and Ray's future in jeopardy? <sighs> um, It has, it's tough. You know, just coming up on um, holiday season, really hoping that we'll, you know, we'll get people out and supporting and everything, but it's it's definitely put in jeopardy. There's some things you just can't come back from. We weren't, we didn't really get any grants or any help or anything. So everything we've done so far is just what we've been able to do ourselves. We get people that mention it and they say they love us so much, but they're like, you know, it's just, that's not enough to keep businesses going. What is the most popular product at Mint Raised? Oh man, that's, that's tough. Pastry that sells the most, I want to say, one of our originals, and uh, it's probably our Zoe bar. <laughs> Sorry. Um, our Zoe bar is actually named after my dog that just passed away. Oh, 2020 sucks. <laughs> just put it that way. That must be Zoe on the wall there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. yeah. That's our Zoe girl. Wow. How long did you have Zoe? Nine years. So I rescued her out in Colorado. Uh, so she's been with me through everything. <laughs> I have a thing. I used to bring her and uh, my other dog Harley, and they'd sit out front and uh, kind of hang out while I worked, but I just loved them and didn't want to leave them at home. <laughs> So that's why we try to do some different things to donate to the Humane Society. Um, just trying to do our part to help out even the animals. <laughs> I was actually going to school um, in Pennsylvania, playing softball and to be a teacher. And I thought, you know, it's what my mom did. I love kids and all that kind of stuff. And that's what I wanted to do. I think I was about two years into it and realized that something just like was kind of missing and softball was kind of dying down. And I'm like, all right, I really want to just, you know, Cake shows were all coming out with um, Cake Boss, and I'm like, that is what I want to do. No experience in it whatsoever, but I'm like, that looks like a lot of fun. He enjoys his job, and he's like laughing all the time and eating, and I'm like, that is what I want to do. <laughs> What's it like being an entrepreneur right now? What's your average day like? <laughs> well, my day this morning, I didn't go to sleep until 2.45 because my son was wide awake, and then woke me up at 6.40. <laughs> So anyone with kids trying to be a business owner right now, it is, it's different. Um, you know, it's just never ending emails and phone calls when you wake up, but you have, you know, I have baking to do, I have orders to do, custom orders, but also stuff to prepare for in store for people coming in and long days where you just want to get home and be done with it. But then you remember, oh, I have emails to get back to and phone calls and voicemails to check. It's just, a, it's a never ending cycle of keeping up with stuff and getting back to people and trying your best, but also trying to balance it with family life. And it's, it's definitely hard. It's, it is a struggle. <laughs>